It's time to find the fees. Well, I have a personal story on why I wanted to talk about this this week. Uh, I met with someone and we have been working with a type of life insurance there. And I think it's important to point out that there's oftentimes a lot of gotchas. I, I call them gotchas. You want to w- look out for what's the catch. And everything in life has a trade-off. And there's, there's many different kinds of life insurance out there. And often it's not uncommon for when you're working and when you're trying to either save for retirement or you just need to watch your, your budget. Term insurance is often the go-to because it's inexpensive. But a term policy has some trade-offs there. You know, it's, it's cheaper and that's great. But oftentimes the term means you're, you're getting a policy that's going to have a level period or a term of where the premiums are going to be controlled at a certain price. But at the end of the term, you sometimes have options to convert it to a permanent policy. But then sometimes there's trade-offs there. You have to be a certain age to convert it. There might be a certain window of which you have to convert it. And you might want to be able to keep the coverage, but you might have to pay a lot in extra premiums. And I, again, tell this story because I had an individual I was working with that essentially in the industry, what they call is uninsurable. They'd had some health events happen where they would never get to qualify for a policy again because of some health events that had happened and they waited too long to convert it. So then this was a big surprise to them. But since they were still working and nearing retirement, they still had a mortgage. So they and they wanted to make sure their spouse would be taken care of if anything happened to them. So it's important to know if you have life insurance, have it reviewed. Oftentimes, I find it's not uncommon for the advisor or the agent that originally sold you the policy, especially if it's been a while ago. They've either retired or they've moved on or you've not had any contact with them. So if you need any help with that, feel free to reach out to our office again. Uh, but Danny, I'm going to go to you next. You know, term is, is the cheapest, but is there something that, that, you know, can keep your premiums level for your life period if, if, you've, if you've had maybe had the policy designed right? Yeah. So what you're referencing is a type of life insurance called universal life or interest sensitive universal life. Um, it's a type of permanent uh, life insurance policy that it depends on what the contract owner is trying to do. You can make it where it seems like if you're just trying to have uh, as inexpensive premiums uh, as possible over the course of your life, then you can make that uh, essentially design the policy to do that. On the other hand, if you want or you're trying to dump as much cash into an instrument as much as you can for to get as much tax favored benefit out of that during your life, not for your death, but during your life that you benefit from during your life, you can make it do that. Now, there are some uh, guidelines that Uncle Sam puts on those kinds of policies, but there's a lot of moving parts to those universal life policies. They can have, uh, you know, you put money into the policy and then there's mortality and expense charges that come out of that. Then they assign you whatever potential growth. And again, you determine that when you design the policy. Do you want, are you looking for just a fixed rate of return through interest bearing or are you tied to a index or, or there's another kind of universal life called variable universal life? where you're actually uh, the internal component, the engine that you try to get your return from, it comes from the stock market performance. So you could have ups and downs in that kind of an instrument. Yeah, lots of moving parts with the universal life. You always have to monitor it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound like I'm, I'm beating my drum here again. Universal life is never a set it and forget it. You want to ha- review that constantly because rates can change, cost of insurance can change, has the potential to blow up because... Uh, We don't want to use the terminology that we can't use, but back in the 80s and 90s, advisors sold this as a, you would never have to pay premiums potentially on this because of the interest rates were so high, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of those universal life policies that I actually uh, have been blowing up, if you will, uh, because they were not sold correctly or they were not uh, implemented correctly into someone's plan. They were counting on those higher interest rates. And now we've had low, uh, low interest rates for uh, historically long periods of time. And so those have put those policies originally thought to be for your life uh, at risk. Can't stress enough. It's never a set it and forget it. You always want to have those things reviewed. And like I said, sometimes the agent or advisor that originally um, originated that policy or contract with you, maybe they're no longer around or you haven't seen them. So make sure you're reviewing that as well. Now, Larry, there's another kind 
or there's maybe a, a, a more uh, permanent option, and that's called whole life. And there's some pros and cons to that too, right? Right. There are. Um, whole life is probably one of the oldest, you know, goes back the furthest. And, um, but the, it's still being offered today. And some people, for particular purposes, they may want to implement that. Um, now, there are fees to how that's priced, if we want to call them that. Mortality, of course, is part of that uh, underwriting process. And that's why people have to go through medical underwriting in order to um, uh, some type of medical underwriting to qualify. Also, uh, you have the expense and profit margins that the company wants to recoup uh, for offering this. And so um, there are many different ways of uh, them pricing whole life. Whole life is going to be the permanent one because you're going to have it for your whole life, but it's the, it's typically the most expensive because, you, you know, it's going to be permanent. So if you need an insurance review, feel free to reach out to us at 833-888-HOUR. That's 833-888-4687 or reach out to us at our website at retirehour.com.